Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic ambiguous grammar. The grammar actually defines the syntax of the source language. So, the grammar is a four tuple which consists of terminals, non terminals, production rules, and the start symbol. The grammar is said to be ambiguous if it generates more than one parse tree. That is, the grammar cannot able to produce unique parse tree. Even if the grammar derives more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation, then that grammar is also ambiguous grammar. So, ambiguous grammar cannot able to produce unique parse tree. There is no specific technique or method to identify whether the grammar is ambiguous or not. So, if you are allowing the ambiguous grammar, it actually troubles the program compilation. So, before parsing, we need to identify whether the grammar is ambiguous or not. Suppose, if the grammar is an ambiguous grammar, we need to eliminate the ambiguity by transforming the grammar into unambiguous. So, the two main drawbacks of ambiguous grammar is, it will create parsing complexity and also it will affect the other phases of the compiler. So, the three main conditions for ambiguity is, if the grammar produces more than one parse tree or if the grammar derives more than one leftmost derivation or if the grammar derives more than one rightmost derivation then the given grammar is a ambiguous grammar now we will see one example based on all the three conditions next example for ambiguous grammar so the given grammar is e derives e plus e e star e or id and we need to derive the string id plus id into id. So, here we will construct two different parse trees for deriving the same string id plus id star id. So, parse tree will start with the start symbol e. So, first we will apply the production e derives e plus e. So, for this first non-terminal E, we will apply the production E derives ID. And for the second non-terminal E, we will apply the production E derives E star E. Now, we will apply the production E derives ID for both the non-terminals. So now we have derived the string id plus id star id. So this is first parse tree and the second parse tree. So e is the start symbol and here we will apply the production e star e. So for this first non-terminal e, again we will apply the production e derives e plus e. And then for this non-terminal E, we will apply ID. E derives ID. For all the non-terminal E, we have applied the production E derives ID. So now we have derived the string that is ID plus ID star ID. So if you are checking here, there are two different parse trees for deriving the same string. So for the given grammar, if it produces two different parse trees, for deriving the same string, then that grammar is a ambiguous grammar. So, the given grammar is a ambiguous grammar. Next, example for ambiguous grammar with more than one leftmost derivation. So, the given grammar is E derives E plus E, E star E and ID. And we are going to derive the string ID plus ID star ID. And here we are going to show two different leftmost derivation for deriving the same string id plus id star id. So, first leftmost derivation, we will apply the production e derives e plus e. Choose the leftmost non-terminal and apply the production rule. So, for this non-terminal e, we will apply the production rule e derives id. Next, only one non-terminal is there. So, for this non-terminal E, we will apply the production E derives E star E. Now, 
Next, choose the leftmost non-terminal and apply the production E derives ID. Next, only one non-terminal is there and apply the production E derives ID. So now we have derived the string ID plus ID star ID. So this is the first leftmost derivation. Now for the second leftmost derivation, we will apply the production E derives E star E. Choose the leftmost non-terminal and apply the production rule. So for this leftmost non-terminal E, we will apply the production rule E derives E plus E. Now choose the leftmost non-terminal E and apply the production E derives ID. Now again choose the leftmost non-terminal and apply the production rule E derives ID. Now only one non-terminal and apply the production E derives ID. So we have derived the string ID plus ID into ID. So if you are checking here, there are two different leftmost derivations. So if the grammar derives more than one leftmost derivation, then that grammar is also ambiguous grammar. Next example for ambiguous grammar by deriving more than one rightmost derivation. So the grammar is E derives E plus E, E star E and ID. We need to derive the string ID plus ID star ID. So for the first rightmost derivation, we will apply the production E derives E plus E. Choose the rightmost non-terminal and apply the production. So for this rightmost non-terminal, we will apply the production E derives E star E. Next, choose the rightmost non-terminal and apply the production rule E derives ID. Choose the rightmost non-terminal and apply the production rule E derives ID. And again only one non-terminal and apply the production rule E derives ID. So now we have derived the string ID plus ID into ID using the rightmost derivation. So for the second rightmost derivation apply the production rule E derives E star E. Choose the rightmost non-terminal and apply the production rule. E derives ID. Next, only one non-terminal is there. So, apply the production rule. E derives E plus E. Now there are two non-terminals, choose the rightmost non-terminal and apply the production rule E derives ID. Now only one non-terminal is there and apply the production rule E derives ID. So now we have derived the same string using different rightmost derivation. So there are two different rightmost derivation for deriving the same string id plus id into id. So if the grammar derives more than one rightmost derivation then that grammar is also ambiguous grammar. So if the grammar produces more than one parse tree or if it derives more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation then the given grammar is a ambiguous grammar. In the next session, we will see some more examples for ambiguous grammar.
Thank you for watching this video.